Let me finally ask, we're now in the midst of really quite a bit of hysteria with Trump's election. There are other, a lot of people around who normally would be very concerned about witch hunts and assault on civil liberties and all this. You're working for some foreign government and your yeah, yeah. loyalty is suspect. As this is happening, Russians are coming. The Russians are coming, you know, and, uh, and, and I just wonder, how do you respond? The same James Clapper who lied to the Senate Intelligence Committee about whether there was this massive collection of data is now right front and center saying, uh, you know, the Russians represent an existential threat to America. Anybody who, you know, takes a different view is threatening our security. And we're back in a kind of McCarthyite Cold War thing yeah. here. And you were inside the NSA. What what do they really know about? Okay, first of all, what I don't understand, the information that we learned from Julian Assange uh, is information I think we had a right to have. You know, what, what did Hillary Clinton, our Secretary of State, a government employee, what had she, after leaving in 2013, tell go, say to Goldman Sachs and, <laughs> and for three quarters of a million dollars? I think that's information we had a right to have. But leaving that aside, what is this about, you know, the Russian hacking, the Russian? You are inside of the NSA. Well, well, they uh, they come out by saying that they, they call it uh, with high confidence. They they this say is a the twenty five page report yeah. they've issued, yeah. but, but they say that with high confidence. Now that's the first clue that they don't have a shred of evidence that it's true, because if they claim some confidence level, that means they don't have the evidence unless they present it so you can look at it and say, well, is this beyond a reasonable uh, reasonable uh, uh, understanding or a uh, uh, point that would allow you to say, yeah, they probably did it, you know, but. Uh, the, the, but the quest, the point was uh, that I've been trying to making and did uh, recently on television and so on is that uh, NSA should have a record if it was a hack coming in across the network. NSA's got a record of it, and if they transferred data out and then transferred that data electronically across the network to WikiLeaks, then they should have a record of that also, because they've got so many collection points. They've got tens of thousands of access points in the network that collect and and uh, and sort data. So, so they should have documentation. <clears throat> this material went to Julian Assange somewhere from a Russian. Right. Instead, they gave us these tour points or so that anybody can use. Well, but uh, even even that, they've deployed hundreds in the European area. They've deployed hundreds of trace route programs. And that means that they can trace the route of every packet being sent across the network, billions of them every day, you know. So. The point is that they should at least have a fragment of it. They might not be show, show every packet that went to WikiLeaks from the Russians, but they should have some of them. Yeah. So it's not a question of, uh, in other words, if they're going to say somebody, and the real issue is who passed the data to WikiLeaks. It's not how many people tried to hack the DNC, because every country in the world tries to hack anything that's available in the U.S. Uh, China, Israel, everybody. Uh, and we hack everybody else, too. So hacking is done worldwide by everybody. That's not the issue. The issue is who passed the data to WikiLeaks. And so far, no one has produced a shred of evidence to show any of the people who attempted to hack, which is probably most of the major company, countries in the world, uh, hacked the DNC and anything, any other. Hillary's, Hillary was a prime target as a Secretary of Defense. She's the prime State. target. Secretary of State. I'm sorry, Secretary of State, I'm sorry. When she was Secretary of State, she was the... She was a prime target automatically for all governments around the world. So uh, you know they were trying to get to her. So uh, it's not a question of who's hacking who because everybody's hacking everybody. Uh, the question is who passed the data to WikiLeaks. That's the real issue. Well, I personally don't agree with that. I think the real issue is is this data <laughs> data nope. we had a right to see. I, I meant in terms yeah. of the Russians did it, the Russians yeah, did it. That's yeah, the real yeah. issue. But, but then, you know, this other thing about, you know, shoot the messenger and yeah, the, yeah, yeah. go to the motives of the whistleblower. My own view is whether it's you or, or Snowden or anybody else, I really don't care about the motives of the whistleblower. I care about the information that has been revealed. Yeah. And if that shows, what are those magic words? Waste, Corruption, fraud, waste, and abuse. Corruption, fraud, waste, and abuse. <laughs> That's the information the American public has a right to have. Right. They're using our money. They're supposed to be protecting us. And if they're involved in cor waste, corruption, fraud, fraud and abuse, abuse uh, <clears throat> then, you know, we have a right to know that. Our yep. media has yep. a right to know and a need uh, to know about it. And that's been lost in this whole business here. Yeah. Well, uh, and it's a, it's a, they always try to divert from the from the real issue, the central core issues, and uh, the government is trying to do that. And it's like 
They, it's like the Wizard of Oz. We're, pay, we're not supposed to pay attention to the man behind the curtain. And that, that's really the theme here. Always be diverted to something that's not relevant. And so the bottom line here, finally, is if it happened, you have to really wonder why they haven't produced the evidence. And their argument <laughs> would be, I've seen this in different places, well, we'll compromise methods and sources. And you've been there with the methods and sources. Yeah, they're already compromised. They're already on the web. All you have to do is uh, Google things like uh, NSA and Treasure Map or NSA and, and uh, 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 any of the other muscular programs or the Bull Run program or the, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, internal tapping programs. Uh, you'll see a lot of them referenced there, though. Fairview, Stormbrew, uh, Blarney. That, that gets involving all of the companies in the U.S., uh, internal uh, service providers for the Internet, plus the the, uh, tele, the phone companies, all of them, 30 of them total at least, uh, according to the Blarney slides, are participating with them, sharing all this data and information uh, with NSA. So, uh, you know, uh, the, the data has already been out there, and it's not a question of, I mean, we've spent, you know, tens of billions of dollars every year trying to, pick this data up. So you're saying, it. using their phrase of high confidence, you're saying with high confidence, yes. as somebody who was inside the system. I mean, I know they lie to each other internally, too, so it's a matter, the whole, the whole system runs on lies. What do you mean they lie to each other? Yeah, they lie to each other in terms of what, what the, why they want something done or, or what they're doing with certain money. Internally, they move money around program to program, and they don't tell each other, they just take it. You know, and this, they lie to Congress all the time. I mean, they would have meetings before they talk to Congress saying, what's our story of corporate position here? You know, so they would tell the corporate position. The That's NSA. why I say this oversight. This is within NSA. This is within NSA. This is called, uh, this is what I call uh, 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 oversight a, a, is a joke. Because the only thing they get fed is the data that they agree to tell them. They don't tell them the truth. So they're lying to everybody. That's why they lied to Congress. They lied to the public. Uh, it's, a, it's a continuation of that foundation of lying. Okay, but the deal kind of works because the average person in this country has been convinced that however they do it, and whatever their methods, it kind of works because we haven't had a second 9-11. We're not blowing up every no, we've hour had, now. We've had a number of attacks now. Yeah, we've, we've had, had a number of and attacks. And how well is that working worldwide? It's not. That's right. the point. It's not working worldwide, <laughs> and we keep backing the wrong people like... You know, my beef with Hillary is in Syria, we end up being in bed with Al-Qaeda and its yeah. agents. Uh, you know, uh, so the intelligence in terms of actually learning what's going on in the world is, is quite uh, flawed, dangerous. But the average person watching this will say, well, but they must be doing uh, their job. So let me ask you point blank. Do you know of any single case, without getting you in trouble with the law again, do you know of any single case where this massive collection of data has stopped or caught a, a terrorist? No. No. Not a single one. Not one. I mean, the only one that they claimed when the uh, Leahy Committee, the Judiciary Committee, uh, challenged uh, Alexander at the time, General, General Alexander, Director of NSA, when they challenged him to prove the, he claimed 54 cases, right? Uh, of uh, t terrorist attacks that were stopped by this bulk stuff, bulk collection. And uh, so the Leahy Committee uh, challenged him to say, prove it. And he ended up proving absolutely none of them. The only one he could claim at the end was a fellow who transferred $8,500 to Al-Shabaab in Africa. A, a, yeah. a charitable front. Uh, yeah, a charitable yeah. front, yeah. yeah. Which wasn't, this is not a terrorist attack, yeah. okay? So so what you just said is, is one of the most damning things I've ever heard as a journalist. This whole thing, we're going to collect data on everybody <laughs> in the world, and, and you know, we have a right to do it. No one else has a right to do it. You know, we get really upset if any <laughs> other government in the world does it. We're going to collect everything, on it, everyone here and everyone else, and we're going to do it because we were attacked at 9-11. And you're telling me, based on and your knowledge of this agency yeah. and everything about it, you have not discovered one case? No, I call it one of the biggest swindles that uh, we've been duped by. In U.S. history? In U.S. history, yeah. The other swindle starting up is uh, cybersecurity. 
That's another one. Well, uh, okay, cybersecurity. NSA already knows uh, all the weaknesses in, or many of the weaknesses in firewalls, operating systems, networks, and switches, and so on. And they are leveraging that to, to penetrate the worldwide network. Uh, but they don't tell anybody who needs to know that would fix it. Because if they fixed it, the windows would close, they couldn't look in. So they, they, have, a, they uh, have had uh, terabytes of source code that was just compromised of this information. Uh, and uh, so uh, what that would do is give us a little bit of cybersecurity, you see, but they, had, they don't provide that knowledge to people who would fix it because if they do, the windows close and they can't look in. So let me understand something. <clears throat> Let's say they find that here we are at the University of Southern California, we have a lot of data collection and so forth and let's say they discover we actually have a, a back door in the system or a way of people grabbing that data or the Bank of America yeah. Bank of America let's yeah. take it away from campus life uh, and can go in they don't tell Bank of America no no because if they did they'd fix it and then they'd notify the manufacturer the manufacturer would fix it all the windows worldwide would close so they don't I mean that's the reason so, they so keep the money say wants to go through this window they don't want it closed, right. even though crooks. Well, they, they have no monopoly on smart people. I mean, other people and other governments and other, and other groups of hackers and other individual hackers can look at this and find weaknesses too. And many of them are the same ones they already know. So uh, by not fixing them, you see, but this is the swindle. Here comes the swindle. The swindle is when you don't fix it just because you want the window in. That means everybody else in the world is vulnerable. So when they get attacked, that you can use that attack to say we need more money for cybersecurity, but still not fix the problem. So this is the swindle. This is the next swindle. Now we're trying to start a third one with the new Cold War, which is a few trillion extra dollars into the budget for oh, and a new, another swindle. A new Cold War, given that uh, the Ruskies have you know uh, 4,500 of these weapons, right? We have another 4,500. Uh, you can destroy all life on on the planet. This is not kidding around. Well, uh, Bill Binney, Thanks. thank you. And uh, <coughs> Sarah, do you want to turn the camera on you? You've and been no, our director, you're all right. As, uh, Sarah's yeah. been our uh, uh, outreach to folks on Facebook. Yeah. And if you have any, what do you usually say at this? If you have any, why don't you get in front of the camera oh, okay. and tell us? We have to have our director here. <coughs> Yep. It's our, our leader. We're just Hi, proud. everyone. Okay, so basically I just want to tell you guys, thank you for tuning in. As we usually do on Facebook Live, this one is on a Tuesday instead of a Thursday, which we normally do. Thursdays at 1. Uh, but thank you guys for joining us. And if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, please do that at truthdig.com backslash subscribe. And if you haven't donated to us because we are independently run we're not run by major corporations like a lot of these independent i mean not independent mainstream media uh, companies media networks so <laughs> if you are in the spirit of giving you can give to truthdig.com backslash support and support us because we need your help and then you will you have a program on thursday again um i don't think we're having one this oh, thursday yeah next week next week <laughs> next week tune in thursday at one okay, okay. all right i'm Thank gonna you. turn this off now all right. all right thank you